Okay, let's look at uh, Control Limited. So they give us a bit of information on credit sales. These figures are net of sales taxes, right? So remember, I mean, it's good we keep practicing it, that the sales ledger control account, you, you will be received the whole thing. You're only entitled, of course. I mean, when I say you receive the whole thing in the bank, then you will then pay off to um, HMRC what it is that the customer has given you. But really, all you're recognizing is your own share of it here in sales, and you owe the HMRC. So that's the whole figure. So this figure includes this figure and this figure, right? So it's a total, right? It goes in here. Okay, great. So I think that's important to keep on emphasizing so that you, you, you keep picking, coming through with that um, question on question, right? So let's do this. So, um, so this, the, these are the credit sales, net of sales tax, everything's at 20%. These are payments out of bank accounts. They give you some opening balances, very much incomplete record looking like. Um, so what do we have? It says calculate the credit sales for entry into the receivables. Um, so if you're doing that, what they're telling you here is this is the credit sales. So 46,000 times 1.2 in effect, right? So 46,000 times 1.2, and that's 55,000, 55,200. Yes, what, what is that? That's really telling you that, listen, sales ledger control account, 55,200, but the sales itself is 46,000, and the VAT is the difference, right? And that looks like um, for, for 9,200, something like that. Right? And that's how that looks. But they only want this figure only want this figure so you write 55,200 right okay cool let's clean this out you get that out of the way <clears throat> and let's look at the next question and the next question says um, using the figure above let's deal with what actually happened so we have a balance brought down of um, 4120 yes 4120 zero you've had these credit sales of 55,200 so what must have happened is you would have received some money in the bank yes so this credit this and then I'll actually put that in here right now well I don't know what it is that's what that, that's sort of the picture right that some money would have come in there and they give you the balance carried down the balance carried down is five seven five seven one zero five seven one zero which means that we can we can find what this is can't we because we know that Technically, there's a balance. We know there's a balance brought down. We know that this figure, 5710, is brought down. So we can add this up. And we have here 20, And so we can now find this figure, right? So we can say 59. 59320 minus 5710 gives us 535610. So this is, oops, sorry, I don't know what I've done there. 535610 is what was received in the bank. All right, and so we know that's dealing with that. Okay, right, so. Um, then the question says, calculate the cash sales. So for cash, I know, for cash, I know that I've received cash of 212, 212,000, 212,000 net. So why not just gross it up again, multiply that 1.2 because this is net of it, right? So 212,000 times 1.2 is 254, 254, 400. And that's what the question is asking. 254, um, 254, 400. It tells us that all cash is banked. We don't have a till. And if there was a till, you would see some kind of, who knows? If you if there was a till, it'll say till or cash at, 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 in the office, and you'd have some kind of opening balance and maybe a closing balance. So you would know that this had come in, this 2544, four, whatever, and maybe if we have, we would have banked some of it and kept some of it, so you could have done something similar to this if there was a till, but there isn't. So all of this is going straight into the bank. That's what they're telling us. You bank all of it, all right? And there you are. 
So um, we can then go ahead now and play around with the bank because we know that um, the bank account had opening balances of 5630, um, 5630, and um, in a closing balance of 818140, 8140, right? And it says that, okay, so now that we know that, we, we can now play around, we can, sorry, where is it? We can see what, what had happened. Yes, so it says here that um, these are payments. So you had paid 48,000 out of the bank for payroll. Let's go there. 48,000. Then it says that you had paid some admin expenses, 6,400. Then it says you have some vehicle running costs. Um, 192 including a sales tax i mean so you'd pay it you can claim that back of course you can but the point is that that's what you're going to pay like like a purchase ledger control account you will pay the whole thing so 192 thousand and then um you then will pay out drawings for, sorry drawings were 41,800. And finally, you also paid a sales tax of 17300 right, 17300 yeah, and then we just add everything, and we're done, actually, we just need to just add, just add this, all this will balance because they've given you the, the balance carried down, so if you add all this downwards, add all this downwards, you'll have your figures, your figures here, right, and that would be the the end of that so yeah and that's how you do it. so this is very much like an, a good incomplete records question um to do cool great stuff